Hi guys. So today you will not see me, but you will hear my voice because I want to explain you a little bit about my usual tools or my favorite tools, because each one of us who is customizing the dolls have lots of favorite tools that we mostly like to use more than others. And probably for other customizers, it will be something different. But here, for example, we have a doll. We're starting so and so from the sending part. Uh, sending paper comes in all shapes and sizes. This is a usual one that we mostly start from. It's 600 and up. You have 600, you have 1000, you have 1500. Uh, the bigger the number, the thinner the paper. So we start from 600 and we go further with the higher numbers to receive a very smooth look. But my favorite, favorite, favorite sending is still this one. I always buy those forms. They're very comfortable. They're flexible. And if you're sending around the nose, mouth or the ears, this is the best way to get around easier. Uh, I cut small pieces. I don't use the whole piece. I'm trying to save it for the longer usage. So this is the Tamiya sanding sponge. My most favorite one. The one that I always buying for myself. Okay, we moving to carving. So of course you have different knives. This is the usual knives that many use. Those I scored myself in a Daiso in Tokyo. If you see, they're pretty stable. They're strong. Uh, you also have a knives where you need to put the knife separately. I, I don't like those very much because they're wibbly and they're moving when you carve and uh, uh, they break also many times. So those are strong enough, are comfortable. You have a set with a six or more. So it's just your choice of which ones you would want to use yourself. But I also have a favorite knives. Those are my favorite ones. I have a whole set, I think around 10 or 12 knives. If you see, they're a full piece of metal and they're double-sided. You have a knife on both sides. They're very sharp, they're strong, they cannot break because it's just one piece of metal wrapped around in the middle. Uh, they're comfortable to hold, they're comfortable to use, so you can make them sharper when they're not so sharp anymore. You have them different uh, sizes. So here they are, my favorite knives. We sand it, we carved. Now we need to move, of course, for the makeup. Uh, sometimes I use epoxy to add different parts, like bigger ears, different nose for the animal blithe. Uh, when I'm working with the epoxy, it's of course like a clay. So there's also tools for molding. I mostly use those. Those actually done uh, the tooth for your dentist, but they're comfortable, they're metal. You have them also all different types. And you have those. Those actually from the nail set. But they're also very usable. They have a small ball in the end, also in all different sizes. And those, if you want to smooth the part that you created, they're rubbery. And you also have them bigger and smaller, so you can work on the smaller details if necessary. Okay, we're moving to makeup. If we're moving to makeup, we need the brushes. Those are my favorite brushes. If you see, they have a soft, spongy part here for holding, or they're pretty thick. Uh, I use mostly brushes from zero and up, so zero, two zeros, three zeros. Sometimes I use a little bit thicker brush when I'm working on the eyelids, because it's more comfortable to cover them. You see, the walking brushes are already all dirty, but I don't mind. 
they very comfortable to hold because the usual brush here is mostly the same size and for a long time to hold it in your hand you starting to have a pain so the other brushes are much more comfortable for holding and uh, those also brushes that is very usable can you recognize them they are makeup brushes they are soft uh, if you're working on the cheeks, for example, or on the bigger areas, or on the lips, to add a very soft tint, those are the best to use. You also have them in a different shapes and sizes. Uh, when we're working on the eyes, we of course need to take the old eye chips out. Uh, we mostly use the glue gun sticks which we warm with the, on the fire I mostly put the candle we stick them when they're slightly warm to the old eye chip and later we we'll pull them out I think you can find more than enough videos on YouTube which will show you how you do it but just to show you another tool which is actually the glue gun sticks uh, eye chips you have them also in lots of different kinds. Those, for example, are eye chips that you can buy in a cool cat. They have the small feet behind. You can also add funny sparkly paper in if you want to create a special effect. I like those less. I mostly like flat chips. I don't know why. But uh, you also have different uh, types of the... Uh, eye chips uh, let me show you you have eye chips with the already made in pupil you have them with the smaller pupil the standard one but you also have them with the bigger pupil like those sometimes it's nice to use both to give a different face expression to a doll and then you also have the same but without filled in pupil they're empty so you can create different color pupil or to use it to fill with a tiny Swarovski like here for example let me show you so it is just your imagination uh, and then you also have the eye chips that is flat and they don't have a pupil at all those are wonderful for creating a special effects if you want to make the whole uh, painting inside them those are the best this example if you want to have no pupil at all and here's just to show you two different eye chips which are already done with a bigger and a smaller pupil so and the last part, uh, which is actually glue that much used in a customizing, not to glue the eye chips in, this is too strong. But if you're gluing the scalp, the E6000 is mostly the best glue. I'm using it always. For the gluing the eye chips in, uh, you're mostly using simple kids craft white glue or emmer's glue how it's many times called and chops so here it is guys i hope i showed you more or less what is used in the blight customizing and i wish you very much luck and if you have any questions please just ask